Hi guys, it's mod review time in uh, the first of a, well, a sort of a trial run. See if I want to keep doing this sort of thing. But I'm going to start smallish and I'm going to start somewhere a little unexpected. As those of you who watch my Let's Plays probably understand, I'm a law friendly kind of player. I only install mods that sort of fit the world, fit the theme, and fit the history of Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls. But sometimes, especially after the week I've had of doing lots of work and deadlines and handing stuff in, I just wanted to click play and just run around being stupid. And what better way of doing that than if we head into the Drunken Huntsman and we find this follower mod. It's Deadpool. Blood and destruction awaits. So, player, what are we gonna do today? Ooh, are we gonna buy more sweet rolls? For those of you who don't know, Deadpool is a character from the Marvel Universe, and if you didn't already know that, then the rest of this video is probably gonna be utterly uninteresting to you. But he is my favourite superhero type character, and this mod was made by the same guy that did the Throthgar voiced follower, um, which is based on the character by a um, very popular YouTuber, Tyrannicon. And uh, the maker of that was Doc117. Now he's made this Deadpool mod, and it is fully compatible with amazing follower tweaks. Some people in the comments on that have said it's a little bit dodgy if you're using UFO. Um, but I've tested with AFT myself, and it's working pretty damn well. As you can see, he is wearing sort of Deadpool-esque gear. It's not entirely new, it's basically the Dark Brotherhood um, armour, gloves and boots, but with a retextured hood, um, with the Deadpool eyes. And I think this works quite nicely. It's got the sort of the black and red, which is, you know, the Deadpool scheme. And then together with the mask, you, you can tell who it is. I would have liked maybe some extra textures, maybe on the belt at least, just to give it a bit extra, and maybe just to make the the sort of the, the squarish shape around the shoulders a bit better. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. One thing I will mention though, is because the armor does just use the Dark Brotherhood gear, albeit renamed and without the uh, enchantments on it, if you've got a mod that changes the texture of the Dark Brotherhood gear, it will affect this. One of the other issues is the gloves do have the Dark Brotherhood backstab enchantment. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just from where the maker has sort of copy and pasted the armour and then renamed it from there and just forgotten to take it out, but it's not entirely out of place with Deadpool. He is the kind of a, he is an assassin after all. And just like with the Throthgar mod, this one too is fully voiced. So, player, what are we gonna do today? And it's very true to other depictions of Deadpool in the computer game and in a few of the uh, cartoons as well. What shall the person say? How about you take that controller and shove it up your ass? The quality of the voice is great. The sort of the things he comes out with is all the sort of breaking the fourth wall that we love with Deadpool. But it also mixes in a lot of sort of Skyrim referencing as well, so it, it plays the balance quite well from being a Skyrim mod but also a Deadpool mod. So if you're not going to give me any sweet rolls, I ain't carrying nothing. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what kind of goody goodies do I get to carry? I'm sworn to carry your sweet rolls. And the last thing about this follower is that once you take off the Deadpool mask, he is just sort of a generic looking NPC. I think he's a, I don't know if he's an Imperial or a Nord, but it's not the Wade Wilson underneath that, that we like, which I think is a bit disappointing. You can't do a lot with the Skyrim face gen to make it look all sort of scarred and cancerous like the character is, but I felt something could have at least been done a little better there. But, the second thing that this mod does, and that's what caused me to search for this in the first place, was I just wanted the outfit, really. And what this mod does, 
is Deadpool here. He's got his own gear, but he's also got a spare set for you. So that's what I've done. So here is me. I've built my own Deadpool. Um, I chose to go for a red guard because of the um, special abilities with Skyri and he gets a nice boost to his swordsmanship skills which is quite fitting and I had a play around with the face gen I got something a bit a bit nicer to me at least you, I didn't spend much time you could get it looking a lot closer if you spend some time on it and plus I had some scars a bit of black um, face paint around his eyes that sort of thing and of course there are a couple of mods you can use alongside this just to make it a bit more deadpool -y. as you can see I've got the bandolier bags and pouches just to give him the look of having the ammo around um, there's the throwing weapons there's the grenades from that mod as well which would suit deadpool especially the incendiaries and things like that I couldn't really find a decent gun mod. As I say, I've never really gone out of my way to look for non-law friendly mods and things like that. But there weren't too many gun mods I felt suitable. But he does look alright just using a crossbow to me. And of course, katanas. Now if you've got immersive weapons, you'll have a host of katana options to choose from as well. The mod comes with a set of uh, the blades katanas from the, the vanilla game. So you've got some options there if you want to play around with Deadpool. And if you want to have them displayed on your back with both of them, you'll need both Dual Sheath Redux, which allows you to display your second weapon, and you'll need uh, immersive animations as well, which um, has got lots of different options for where you put your weapons, where you draw them from, but there's one for having dual swords both sheathed on your back, and that's the one I'm using here. So now we'll just leave off with uh, me running around the countryside, killing lots of people with my buddy Deadpool there, and you can get an idea of the, the dialogue he comes out with, and the sort of fun you might have role-playing as this guy in Skyrim. Ha <laughs> ha! 